So a lot of you have been asking, right? Like TK Roll, we get it. You're the you're the most intelligent person in the entire universe when it comes to dinosaurs. I know, I know. Please, please hold the applause. I know. Even you in the back, I know. Keep it holding. Okay, now you can applause. But anyways, you see, I I feel like there's been a lot of comments asking me, TK Royal, put this to the test. How do we know you're the smartest when it comes to dinosaurs? And I know there's just so many of you have been asking. Editor TK, please stop. You're not you're not helping anything here. Stop, 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 stop. So I've got three quizzes here. One that's for just like children. One that's like a medium. It's called Ultimate. I don't know. And this one's the most epic epic dinosaur quiz ever. So it has to be good, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So one we got what, what word best describes dinosaurs. Um, how do I select? Wait, how do I? Oh, I have to click start. I knew that. So what word best describes dinosaurs? Gentle, um, friendly, um, short. Um, okay, so we're just gonna. We're, okay, I, I, I've, yeah. Um, it is for. Is, I don't know. Is it for children or for like like aliens that have never like witnessed what dinosaurs ever were? What is the word named dinosaur? <laughs> Giant monkey, huge. <laughs> What does the word dinosaur mean? Listen, okay, we have a lot of options to go through here. I was thinking a lot of a lot of parallels in this. You see, long snake, I mean fair. Huge insect. Fair. Giant I don't know what terrible okay, we know it's terrible. Is so we're not even gonna try You see the, the person who rated this upside, I'm not gonna do that. But I, I, I'm with him. Well <laughs> he got that one wrong. You already know Tim in like second grade, he but giant monkey. What group of today's animals do a lot of the dinosaurs look like? Uh, look like reptiles. Uh, the albasaurus name. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This just went from, like, preschool, like, what, what preschoolers do in their sleep. Like, a belosaur, like, immediately, right out the gate. Like, we're not even, we're not even going to question it. Like, we're just going, okay, straight up. I mean, so, I mean, straight up, I don't think it's any of these three, considering Saurus, I know, does mean, in fact, lizard. Not eater, bird, or dog, uh, contrary to popular belief. I know many people have thought carrot eater makes the most sense. I'm just going to go with Abel's lizard. I don't really know why. It's something about it. Okay, what does the vegetarian Abrosaurus eat? Um, <laughs> I felt that. Considering I said vegetarian, um, I'm going to go with fish. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Acrocanthus growing out of its backbone. Interesting. Interesting. Um, it could be bananas. It could be baby dinosaurs. Uh, feathers or bony spike. You don't really grow feathers out of a backbone. That's more of in the tissue. So we're going to go with bony spikes and we're correct. Giant Afrovenator grow to be. Um, two feet tall. Doubt. Eight feet long. I doubt. 100 pounds. That's uh, pretty light. I'm going to go 30 feet long. Okay. And you see, I feel like the answer choices, the questions, like, it, it's not easy. But then the, 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 the answers are just so formatted to be anything but the correct answer. Is, is Okay. Where did the fish like this? I'm not even going to try it. Amphioxus live. Um, you see what I mean? Like, if, if you gave us some better options here, you know, we could talk about different, like, ancient seas different time periods no it's the desert a cave a tree or the ocean you just told me it was a fish okay we're just gonna move on uh we're gonna just speed around where river's close to where the amur is okay see here we go this is a very solid question once again it should not be for just like no stop it should not be for like you know middle schoolers i'm not saying like kindergartners but okay um amurosaurus means i have no idea what that means um colorado mississippi Okay, I thought this was, <laughs> I thought this is gonna be a difficult question. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I didn't read all the answer choices. I'm like, I'm Okay, like we got Colorado. I'm assuming it's gearing toward an American. Um, oh, never mind. A Mer River. There we go. Okay, there we are. Jimmy and 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 little Tim. I don't know how you how you got that one wrong. Okay, it was just geared toward you. But you know, Caitlin, Samantha, and and Bob. Good job. I'm proud of you guys. How big did the giant Brachiosaurus grow to be? 12 feet long? Don't think so. 15? Don't think so. 10? Probably this. Um, what was the name of the paleontologist that discovered the Andrewsaurus? Something tells me it is Andrew in the name. And we're correct. Not Dr. Seuss or Spock or Jones. What kind of animal is the Supersaurus? Um, I mean, once again, Saurus, lizard. Monkey, snake, chicken, dinosaur. I'm like, okay, this this is just a quiz on the entirety of the. Like, it's a dinosaur. Okay, we just need to move on. We need to get this. 
They all moved to the movie. Just, okay, we we need to. Uh, okay, we. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, to have breakfast, Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> um, there we go. We've, we've done it. You know, it's just flawless, right? Flawless, not even close. Boom. I sort of, uh, boom. Uh, certificate of achievement. <laughs> Got a score of 100 of the dinosaur quiz for kids. Imagine the poor soul who coded this in. Okay, let's get some really good. Certificate of achievement, really good font. We got the we got the background going. We got the logo in. Um, sir, what what's the quiz? Dinosaur quiz for kids. Yeah, I'm showing this in my next interview, 100. percent Okay, boom, right in the middle. Ultimate dinosaur quiz. Diplodocus. Okay, this is. You see, I'm taking it seriously now. What did the uh, <laughs> Bokies and listen? They're not even taking this one seriously. The Velociraptor's middle claws for the end very sharp. What is this useful for? I mean, attack and prey. Listen, I don't. I don't know what this is. This is like they tried once here, and they gave. Usually, if there's a cop out answer, you know, you can have like a silly little funny answer. But there's two cop out answers here, and the other one is like I, I don't even know. Is that a? Is that, I think that's a crocodile, intracrocodilian. I don't want to click on it, but I got to click on it. I want. I want. I can't let me click on it. Um, well, the first dinosaur fossils were found in China. What did they think it was? Uh, probably a dragon. True or false? The first ever dinosaur fossil discovered was in the UK. I mean, the previous question suggests it was found in China, but I know the iguanodon was found in the UK and it was the first dinosaur. So I'm gonna click true, even though I know you guys are really it's it's pretty obvious. It's, I don't think is I thought it was the iguanodon in the UK. I'm not too sure that would be good. Saying 65 million, you gotta just get out of here. Just for the dinosaurs. Um, uh, probably an asteroid. I'm not gonna lie, even though it's uh, which are the velociraptors. Uh, uh, I mean, MySpace, Britpop, and then two actual eras. It's just, it's just, it's just sad. Honestly, it's sad. I don't want to see a quiz. Stop. I hate ads. Ten out of ten. God, this is disgusting. Okay, finally, can we please, please get some? It's the same site. This isn't looking good. Once again, they've given up. Oh my God. They see. Okay. Here we go. This is a good question. Let me think about this. Velociraptor's claw grew up to. Uh, Velociraptor wasn't very large. I would say around 6.5, personally. A herbivore, this is just okay. 1824, first ever dinosaur named. Um, hmm. It wasn't a brontomegalosaurus. I'm going to go brontosaurus on that. I just feel like it was the. It was, it's an early one, and I'm not too sure about that megalosaurus. And what year were dinosaur remains first discovered in North America? Um, I'm going to give it a 19, oh, ooh, interesting, it's between 54 and 19, I'm going to go 1901, uh, King of the Scary Lizards, pretty much, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Destroyer of Worlds, I mean, yeah, the other way, you know, it's the same, same, same concept, what sort of dinosaur like animals, Nessie sometimes depicted as Pliosaur, what did dinosaurs go extinct last week, uh, quite a long time ago, is not wrong, to be honest. See, you know, this is a trick question here. Oh, they spell with U. They're British. This explains the test. Um, green, brown, red. No one knows. No one knows. Uh, which period does Xerxes live in? Cretaceous. Triceratops. Three-horned face. Uh, right. Yes. What caused... Wait. Triple-pronged rhino head. Salad nibbler. They will cause us to go to the animal plants. Asteroid. This is a cop-out in the last question. This is the same question. Biggest dinosaur? It would be the sauropods. Fun fact. Um, true or false, a pterodactyl is a dinosaur. Most people did not know this. You see, like all your marine reptiles, they are not dinosaurs. Pterodactyls are dinosaurs. Why is Brontosaurus not really a dinosaur? Uh, that, that's it right there. Uh, the Apatosaurus is the Brontosaurus. They, they got confused. Um, what's the following eight meat? Spinosaurus, dead triceratops. No, no, no. So we're going to Spinosaur. What does the word dinosaur mean? Um, scary reptile or terrible lizard? It's terrible lizard, fun fact. What height could a Brachiosaurus reach? Um, a tall man. A double decker bus. Four double decker buses. Top of a bus shelter. What is a bus shelter? What constitutes a bus shelter? Hold up, everyone. We're going to figure this out together. Okay, so this is a bus shelter. The top of I'm going to have to go with four double decker buses. It just seems the most logical. What is the name of someone who studies dinosaurs? A dinotologist. A nerd. Just straight up, just disrespect. Okay, they they're not they obviously got all these facts. 
from some random third party source and they're just hating on the entire the entirety of dinosaurs here like look at this they're not even trying they got the correct answer they got from wikipedia and then what they actually think and then just a cop out answer and then just some random thing that sounds right how big was the average t rhinosaurus rex tooth is about the size of a banana so you're gonna see not the size of human hand um a baked bean no a dustbin odd very very strange choices we have to see from there's no there's no size measurement in here we're not getting inches we've got a sword a human hand a baked bean and a dustbin like this this is the this is the units of measurement we're working with i just want to point out that I, i'm getting ready to click a dustbin or a human hand as the answer as a unit of measurement i can't believe this i'm going with human hand it seems the most like in the correct it's not i say it's slightly bigger but it's not a dustbin because dustbins is a full garbage bin. Right, okay hold up i'm like i'm just like overthinking i've already selected it so i probably got it wrong but now i can't spell dustbin yeah no no it's it's not it's not the fact it says dustbin just tells me this is an english person who discovered the first dinosaur fossil in england in 1920 you said the last one was in china okay this is a good question though um okay so it's england 1822 what do we name here kids um, John's a shout, Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm. I'm pretty sure these two people are from Jurassic Park, so I'm going to go John Hammond. Um, what did the majority of dinosaurs eat? Insane 3D render, by the way. Um, didn't even know it was. What did the majority of dinosaurs eat? We're going to go with crisps, sweets. Like, you know, you know they're British, because I just happen to know that crisps is equivalent to chips. And then, because... Their chips are fries, but our fries are crisps. You see, they just want to be different. And then sweets is a yeah, candy. You know, they just they're not original. They can't go past the actual taste. What did the majority of dinosaurs eat? Um, between oh, I'm gonna go with plants. It's just how that's just how the food works. What dinosaur is the size of a chicken? Nuggetosaurus. Fair. Compsognathus is correct. Ardeonyx hesperosaurus. This was also small, but it was bigger. So I'm gonna go Compsognathus. Birds evolved from dinosaurs. Um, yeah, this is true. Uh, what dinosaur theme book was turned into a film in 1993? Look, there's a big dinosaur crushing my house by Benjamin Myers. Great film, great film. Ten out of ten. Dinosaurs ever. I see. I don't know when Jurassic Park was released. Was it 93? I think it was. So we're gonna go with that. What Diplodocus? The Diplodocus lived in which period? Okay, Syria. This. This is a good question, you see, because it's, it's not giving me, you know, your mom, ASIC, you know, it's not giving me last week. It's giving me three viable options. No one knows. It's just another cop-out answer. The answer is the Jurassic. Um, but I like, I like the question there. That pause I just had after seeing the Jurassic was me completely overthinking when it was, but it was the Jurassic. No need to even fact check myself. Which Toronto basketball team has a dinosaur claw on their club edge? Uh, let's see, probably the Raptors. And let's see, after this horrible ad, what did we get? Impossible. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. I don't know who discovered the first... Do okay, listen, Mary Ann Mantle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for just slaughtering your credibility. Okay, I'm sorry. Pterodactyl is not a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur. They're a distant dinosaur cousin. Okay, I've been lied to. My life is a scam. Never, never believe anything I say. You guys think I'm smart? I'm not. I didn't even know that. How did I not know that? I really thought it was anyways. Okay, see, this is just, come on, come on. It's just like the same thing. Nothing. What happened between 54 and 1901? That just makes them the yeah, same thing. Okay, it was Megalosaurus. Oh, my God. I should have known it was just the most basic dinosaur name ever. Should have gotten that. Um... Okay, I can't believe I got those wrong. Okay, so we have to name the dinosaur from the image. Long teeth, short arms. T. Rhinosaurus. Um, biggest carnivore I've ever sound, that'd be Spinosaurus. Two of these. Um, that's small, that's small. This isn't, Allosaurus isn't small, but it's smaller. Um, do you know the dinosaur who describes, whose name describes the most identifying feature? It would, I mean, considering it's just, I'm just going to label what it is. Okay, this is really easy. This isn't even like, oh my God, this is just, it's not even challenging in the slightest. 
Okay, come on. I, I need some challenge in my life. Oh, aquatic. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, and it's ocean. Okay, all these, all these just have cop outs. There's nothing easy. I need some challenge in my life, and it's not just some who named the first dinosaur back in back in fourteen. Like, it, come on, come on. I, I need, I need like some some. Um, I need, I need some some challenge. Okay, this is it's just people who. I need to click the wrong answer. Oh God, I need to slow down a bit here. I'm going a bit. I'm going a bit faster than myself. I need to. Just, uh, Breathe in, breathe out. It's fine. We're doing well. We're doing well. I know this. Parasophilus. Whoa, whoa. Parasophilus. This is like Parasolophus. This was like my Pachycephalus. This is like my favorite dinosaur, herbivore dinosaur. <gasps> Baryonis. You, there's an X there. Why is there a Z? Ooh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, this looks to be a Argentinosaurus. And this is a Pachycephalosaurus. Now it's okay. It's getting a bit more uh, dangerous now. Now, I know this is an iguanodon because of the, the hook on the hand. They have a little, like, sharp spike thumb. Um, oh, this is my boy, Baryonyx. Um, fun fact, this is my favorite uh, dinosaur. Uh, you guys didn't know that. Quetzalcoatlus is a big boy. 36-foot wingspan. Boom. Looks like a Therizen uh, there. Okay, I didn't catch this before. Like, this is at or TK. Well, I bet Therizenosaurus is not a carnivore. I don't know. I didn't catch that before, but you... Idiotic test. They're a herbivore. Their long spikes were made for defending predators and like shearing the leaves off branches. Moron test. There's there is then a source. Uh, make these sore. I'd have to say, twenty five feet long. Okay, you see, um, these are the raptors that are like Jurassic Park. Like I, men I mentioned this in like my dinosaur video I made a while ago. But Velociraptors are small. Dionychus, they're pretty big. But Utah Raptors, the one you're gonna look at, six feet tall. Boom, 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 boom. They're big. Um, aquatic carnivore. It could be a Le uh, leperon. It's the only aquatic dinosaur there, or a reptile. Sorry, sorry. They're not dinosaurs. Do you reckon it's carnivorous? Almost ten feet tall. Um, not that. That's a crocodilian. Um, that's definitely not it. And then that's a mammoth. So we're gonna go with that. Um, actually, megalosaurus. This was like the first one ever discovered, right? Okay, interesting. Um, the like, T Rex. The spikes on his head. What is it? Would be the Ceratosaurus. Sarcosuchus. This is a dino? It's not a dinosaur. Okay, fact check time. We're fact checking. It's a, it's a crocodilian, not a dinosaur. Stop scrolling down. Stop it! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Let's see, let's see. Wikipedia... Wikipedia, be my credible source, please. Let's see what we got here. Stop asking for donations. Um, relative of crocodiles, you idiot, you just dumb, dumb sight. Kingdom, I'm not seeing any dinosaur here. I'm not, it just is just not in the slightest. Um, look, I'll even do the, okay, hold up, I'm misspelling. Okay, is, boom, a dinosaur. Do, 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 do. And it is. Uh, uh, yeah, prehistoric crocodile. Like I, uh, you know, I'm right. This is not a dinosaur. Not a dinosaur. Uh, walk at a speed of walk at a speed of 13 miles per hour. Interesting setup there. Um, you see, I'm not even going off the question. Looking at this, it's not that that Albertosaurus. Okay, interesting. Titanosaurus. I have no idea what that is. Sounds like a made-up name. I know it's neither of these. Albertosaurus is a Canadian uh, theropod, and it's looking like the most likely. Okay, it is. Um, can you name this bird like dinosaur that's a little smaller than a human? It looks like an oviraptor because of the beak. What does that even mean? Zool. And this is an underwater animal, right? This is that. Boom. We were just talking about it. Uh, this looks like a this. That's a. This is a, the Tarbosaurus is a Chinese relative of the T-Rex, the Titanosaurus. I have no idea what that is still. The Galliomimus is like this, this feather run thing. It's this, it's Tyrachosaurus, that one. Um, this looks like an Archaeopteryx, but it's not actually, because it's a Microraptor, smallest dinosaur, fun fact. Um, this looks like this Stigamalock, very, really fun dinosaur. Um, the dinosaur looks like it's wearing, uh, ooh, interesting. Um, it's not the Galliomimus. They're a bit larger and they like, they like run really fast. They're like the classic, like, you know, like those scenes in planet earth where you have like the, 
the like the bison running or like the zebra and the gazelle running and then there's like predators around them and the cheetahs after them and stuff that that the animal the gallimimus is the cretaceous antelope basically they're just they're just the secondary characters that get killed by t-rex and all the movies i mean gallimimus was really just the scapegoat basically just just to get done destroyed all the time and utrinus i don't really know what this is and i don't really know what this is but i'm still thinking this is made up so i'm gonna go with this one and we're good okay nice um this twenty nine thousand pound dinosaur this looks insanely dumb looking why does its back look like that this is really stupid looking. We're going with Titanosaurus, and it's just perfect. What do you know? Six pounds. It looks like a Compsognathus. Um, yeah, I don't know what those are. Um, taller than the average humans. This looks to be the Gallimimus. We get hints. Ask the gal in the corner. Okay, thing is, and it got rid of two. Okay, I didn't need that. I knew it was the Gallimimus. I don't need this. Name of this little lizard dinosaur. Um, considering I know what all these things are, and I have no idea what that is, we're going to click on that. Um, looks like T-Rex with a slightly longer arms. So this would be the Allosaurus. Um, you can also tell because of the markings, 100 percenter. Boom. I'm just really good at the video game, except it's not even a video game. Okay, here we go. I have found actually a challenging uh, dinosaur quiz. This is going to be the last one, and I have a feeling, a gut feeling, that this is actually going to be pretty difficult. Okay, um, but I believe in myself. Where did the arm on a monkeyosaurus stop? Okay. I've heard of this one before. They look really weird. They have like basically like one finger, so they don't even have like a wrist. And it's just like, okay, where did the arm claw? So each knuckle finger. Okay, so I think it's the shoulder. It's like there, it's really bad. I, what? Anyways, as I was saying, um, I'd go each shoulder. And it's each wrist. I got it wrong. Okay. This is what I was talking about though. Like, look at, look at these. Look at these guys. Look at this. Like, look, look, look. Okay, this is a horrible picture. Slightly better picture. Like, what are they doing with that? Okay, hold up. I'm, I'm on this guy's head. He thinks it's up from. Look at this. Look at this. I'm on, I'm on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What are you doing with those? Huh? What are you doing with that? Nothing. Approximately how big was the Tyrannosaurus Rex legs at the hip? Okay. Um, at the hip, um, okay. I know that I'd say we'd go up to his ankles. So I want to say... Uh, it's also maple tree at the hip, you know, that's at the hip. I'd say on average, they're about, what, like 20 some, probably around 20, 18 feet tall. So half as much. Uh, it's taller than a car. A car is not really that tall. Too big is not even an answer. Maple tree is too long. I see these two are, I'm going to go car. Because these two are just, okay, yeah, the car. We're going, as tall as a maple tree maple tree okay okay we're we're consulting the, the, the google here okay so here we got an average of t-rex being 12 feet tall what maple tree you know is 12 feet tall look at this no no he thinks i'm done average height oh, i misspelled that height of a maple tree i'm i'm on i'm on this quiz's head where do you think it grows to 70 feet tall 40 to be classified as a small tree the mature height of a tree must be less than 30 feet it's not six the average height of a car hold up hold up hold up boom one to three to 1.5 meters in heights i'm not even gonna be looking at five six average height of five six where were the remains of the dinosaur quetzalcoatlus found you just told me okay no no i'm not having this quetzalcoatlus isn't a dinosaur because pterosaurs aren't dinosaurs that's what I, that's what i learned in the last quiz they're not dinosaurs. It's dino it's a pterosaur. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a dinosaur. It's a pterosaur. You know, now you're telling me dinosaurs pterosaurs are dinosaurs. What is this? Um this guy obviously is just completely misleading in his facts. Ah, oh, here we go. Because it's a dinosaur it had the wrong type of hips. This is correct. We're going with the, this fourth option because it's not a dinosaur. And it's correct. I'm so good. And now we don't and now we don't even have to know where it is, because I'm just gonna completely pretend I know where it is, so it don't look dumb. Uh, Spinosaurus hunted fish. Oh, uh, while well, swimming, it probably did. Um, it d did not do that. Uh, it did not do that either, and it probably did that. We're gonna go swimming because only one yes swimming. Okay, we're so good. The pachycep oh pachycephalosauride um, order butted heads too. They didn't. Their skulls are too fragile. This is false. Okay, they are probably the the most accurate uh, definition of a blockhead that's that nature has ever produced to get a mate 
probably to claim territory. No, they weren't territorial. Just for fun. Yes, I do it all the time. We're going to go to get a mate. Uh, oh my god, what? Excuse me? Huh? Excuse me? Fragile school, yeah? Fragile school. No, 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 no. Keep talking about it. Look at this. Fourth picture. What are they doing? Butting heads. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Too fragile? Is that what you just said? Too fragile? No, no, no. no. I'm sorry. Sorry. What was, what was the correction? Say? They didn't. Their skulls are too fragile. Yeah? Too fragile? Really? Really? You want to say it? Too fragile. Too... No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. You can't believe you just said that to me. Too fragile. These skulls. Too... Fr okay. We're done. We're done. We just breathe in T TK. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They didn't mean it. They don't know. What are the defining characteristics of the family? Ornithopods. Okay, ornithopods. Um, um, ornithopods. I immediately think of Ornitholosaurus, which was like a egg scavenger, small dinosaur, meat eater. So I'm going to go with eight meat, I want to say. Uh, looking at answer choice D there, both A and C would mean it'd be duck bills and ate meat, which doesn't make any sense because duck bills were made for vegetation. So you're dumb, Quiz. Um, so it's not that or that, and this just means therapod. Well, not therapod, but like you know, a yeah, therapod basically. We're gonna go with ate meat, and I'm completely wrong. Okay, explain it. Well, I just can't believe this. I can't believe this. What is this? Oh, it does mean oh. Okay, so I was wrong. It does indeed mean uh, duck build. The name is for bird footed. Wait, bird footed and then bird hip? That means two legs. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. Wait, wait, hold up. But they don't eat meat though. Unless it goes A, B, C, which would make a lot more sense now that I realize that. And I, if I had known that, I probably would have uh, changed my answer. I'm completely copying out. I'm fully aware of this. Okay, we're going to move on so no one forgets about it. This is just, what? Tyranno Titan had spikes. With that name, if it didn't have spikes, I'm disappointed. We're going true. And it didn't. Okay, well, this is, I have no idea what this is. What on earth is this? What on earth is this? Huge bipedal carnivorous dinosaur of the... Oh, the Carcondontosaurid family. That makes sense. I'm sorry, but I, I'm getting assaulted with just imagery of spikes. So how am I wrong here? I'm seeing a lot of like uh, dinosaur simulator wiki, um, Jurassic Park wiki, uh, Jurassic World evolution. Like, is this a real dinosaur with this name? Okay, hold up. I need to do some research here. I'm getting a lot of fandoms I'm seeing here. Oh, here we go. It is the real thing. Um, okay. Uh, not a lot of dinosaur fossils. Let me see this right here. Uh, yeah, it didn't have spikes. Okay, that's awkward. Uh, kind of, a, you can't have a missed out in that name there. I would have given, this looks like a pretty lame dinosaur. I'm not going to lie. Or you just not even have spike. You just give it Tyranno Titan as the name. You're, you're missing out a lot here. Um, Tajungasaurus had, okay, Tajungasaurus. That is familiar. It's not fins. Foot long claws. Nope, those, that's not that. Sharp teeth, spikes on its back. I say we go with spikes on its back because these don't seem right, answer, right answers. And spikes on the back didn't work before, so statistically it has to work now. Boom, I'm never wrong. Monolop oh, Monolophosaurus was mostly related to. T-Rex, Tarbosaurus, Allosaurus, Stratosaurus. So these two are very closely related, and these two aren't really related, but they're both Jurassic theropods. And this means uh, one, I don't know, lizard. One lizard. Okay, it's a toss-up between... Oh, my officers. Okay, I have to think about this. Hold up. Um, if you're wondering what this sound is, like you can hear like some, like if someone's like wearing an Arctic coat, and talking that's because I'm wearing an arctic coat and talking because it's actually negative degrees in my house you guys wonder why I can't play bed wars correctly it's I'm just cold okay we're going ceratosaurus I've, I've never fallen like I'm never wrong ever ever how many horns did Cyrax Styracosaurus have okay 
So if I remember correctly, they had a they had one horn on their nose, and then a ton on their frill. And I'm not seeing a one as an option here, so we're gonna go with ten as the largest number, and it's two. Okay, I need some visual imagery here because I've just completely doubted myself. What's going on here? Where's the two in this scenario? Like, what's 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 going on here? Where where's where's the two here? You know, I see one on its face, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, listen, man, I don't know where you got two from, but you're wrong. Wikipedia says otherwise. So who's wrong here? Not me. So I feel like I got a hundred on that. I'm not going to lie. Wait, which ones did I get wrong? I got that one wrong. That one wrong. That one right. So right now I'm one for three. I got that one right. So two for four. Two for five. Two for six. Two for seven. Three for eight. Four for nine. Four for, I got a 40%. But like, let's see here. I got 40%, but this was should have been correct. So it should be a 50. Um, this one was just a dumb question. We're not gonna count that. It should be a 60. This one was, I was I was mistaken from the, the number choices. So 70. Um, I definitely skipped the percentage. Uh, this one is just completely incorrect. I've proven this one and this one wrong. So actually, they're completely false. Um, this one is just false as well. I proved that wrong. This one, this is just so, like, what is this? Like, what do you mean where it stopped? Where does the arm claw stop? Okay, what is this? I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to search this. What is going on? I don't want to print. Okay, well, well that's the that's the video, guys. Um, Gotta say, uh, re really, really disappointed in the, the dinosaur quizzes here. Uh, of course, there's a lot of them. And maybe I just got the wrong ones, but like I really tried to look for a good one, and it's just it's just not looking good here. Like I'm just gonna look at this random one. Wait, what is this? Oh, wait a minute, we might actually have a good one here. What is this? Oh, I have to type it out. Jesus Christ, I can't type that fast. I spelled that wrong, right? Did I? Um, Oh my God! There's a timer. Jesus Christ! Um, okay. Thank you. Um, next one. Next one. Um, um, um. That's a Triceratops. Um, Jesus Christ! I'm terrible. This is. I'm not ready for this. Um, okay. Okay. Here we go. Um, I'm, I have to move my mic. I can't even see my. Um, this looks like a Brachiosaurus. I, okay. I didn't even get a type yet. Um. Okay. Uh. I can. Uh, Pachy. Cephalosaurus. Okay, I somehow got that off. Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, looks like a velociraptor. Uh, bro, oh, yeah. what? Um, um, uh, um, t t t t no, Don. Uh, not and no. Okay. Um, 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 Nano Tyrannus. I don't think so. Those aren't a thing. Um, Elasmosaurus. I'm gonna go with that. Um, uh, oh, what is this? Um. This, I guess this is a Velociraptor, because none of the other options. I don't know how this was a Velociraptor and the other isn't, but we're moving on. Um, this I, I didn't even get to type anything. Um, um, uh, I can't. I can't uh, okay. Um, yeah, over Raptor. Gotta go quickly. They, they don't. Um, are I? I did. I got three. Uh, go, go on, uh, don, uh, go, um, 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 how do I spell it right? What did I do? Uh, uh, Iguanodon. Okay, okay. Um, um, Dilophosaurus. Um, while, while, while I'm doing this super quickly, and you guys are seeing this, you're going to see things pop. Um, um, Parasaurolophus. That's good. Correct spelling right there. Okay, you got, uh, this is a Lepurodon. So I, I didn't type anything, but I got it right. Okay. Um, we're going to go, uh, uh, Spinosaurus. Okay, nice. Um, Jesus Christ, I, 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 didn't, I didn't get to type anything. Why does it keep deciding to make these wrong and right? No!